everybody. Today I have with me Dr. Matthew Mock, a previous recipient of the Mary Ramirezma Distinguished Clinical Member Award. How are you doing today, Dr. Mock? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much, Tim. Good Wonderful. to be here. Good to, good to have you. As a previous award winner, what was it like getting the award? I will always remember that, Tim, no matter how long it's been uh, since, uh, since I received it, which is many years ago. But it was you know, an incredible honor to do so. Um, I've been working in the field for a very long time. Um, I have dual degrees. I've been trained as a clinical psychologist as well as a, a licensed marriage and family therapist. And I've been working in the field for a long time, You know, 20 years working director of children and family services for the city of Berkeley, professor of psychology, private practice. So to be acknowledged by my peers or be acknowledged by one of my professions uh, in marriage and family therapy is an inspiration. I mean, it's an inspiration, it's an endorsement, and it also uh, keeps me accountable to continue to do excellent work. A absolutely, and you do. You do wonderful work, Dr. Mock. Well, and so so what what does it mean to be a Mary Ramirezma distinguished clinical member? What does it mean to you? Well, um, I'm humbled uh, by it, uh, first of all. And I think this idea, the way I also was raised uh, culturally, which is one of the main areas that I train and teach in, is on uh, multiculturalism, social justice, and addressing inequities, is that no matter what in the work that we do, that, that uh, we, we strive and our passion to make this world a better place and make the world a better place for relationships, for families, and communities of all diverse, uh, diverse backgrounds. And so to get an award that says, stop and take a moment and just to, to express thanks, Dr. Mock, for your doing it in whatever way, different means, uh, uh, don't always do it right, but uh, get it right a lot of the time, uh, communities tell me so. So to have it be endorsed through uh, an award such as this um, really uh, means a lot and, and just tells me to keep going, so. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. Any advice for people who are thinking about nominating somebody? Well, again, uh, our degrees, our, the work that we do is so relational. And so um, to acknowledge relationships by acknowledging a colleague or even acknowledging yourself and having people acknowledge you, um, I know we're uh, you know, oftentimes, oftentimes humble uh, and all the more in these current times, I don't need to tell you where uh, relationships, uh, if you will, are, are, are strained, uh, but uh, we work really hard to try to make them better. So one of the ways to do that is nominate, Think of, inspire, spread the word, um, nominate a colleague. Um, and even if they do not uh, receive the award, the fact that they were even nominated will mean a lot to them. Trust me on that. And, and I promise you, they will, they will be delighted. Well, thank you, Dr. Mock. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Folks, if you are interested in nominating someone for the Mary Ramirez Ma Distinguished Clinical Member Award or any of the awards that CAMP oh, uh, gives out annually, please go to www.camped.org forward slash honors. That's www.camft.org forward slash H-O-N-O-R-S. Thanks again, Dr. Mock. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. And thank you, Camped. Appreciate all. Blessings.